Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Louis Oscar Morel. I am both uh, a chief executive officer of a startup, Human Health Tech, and a student at uh, Ecole Polytechnique de Paris uh, in the Applied Mathematics and Data Science Master's degree. Um, our startup, Human Health Tech, is a deep tech um, created in June 2020, which is developing uh, software as medical device based on artificial intelligence. Um, the company develops softwares mainly to support physicians from the screening stage to that of cancer treatment. Um, the main difficulty that uh, the startup uh, Human Health Tech is trying to solve is linked to the complexity of treating uh, patients with breast cancer. Um, the physicians have to define the cancer based on uh, many tests and many characteristics. But um, all these elements uh, are not sometimes really reliable. And at the same time, we have uh, an explosion of uh, the price of uh, this examination, in particular with the arrival of new technologies such as next generation sequencing, which can cost uh, thousands of euros. Um, in addition, uh, all these examinations don't answer the most important question that one has to ensure is, uh, is the treatment going to work? So the challenge for a startup is extremely ambitious, but it's to address all these issues at the same time. We are developing algorithms that uh, pri primarily uh, make the realization of all this examination much cheaper and much more reproducible. Um, we analyze the diagnostical chain from uh, end to end, and then um, we um, generate a response uh, on the effectiveness of each treatment for each patient. With this startup, uh, I'm motivated uh, in creating a new uh, entrepreneurial uh, paradigm in healthcare. Uh, as an MD-PhD training student and specialized in applied mathematics and fundamental oncology, uh, my ambition is to provide uh, new solutions, uh, practical solutions that are relevant in terms of clinic and easy to use in, on a daily basis. Um, but what we see in France is uh, that the reality of research is really different from uh, the industry. And we have an industry that responds mostly on economic issues, whereas doctors want uh, clinically pertinent tools. And sometimes those ambitions are not uh, aligned together. Um, my ambition with Human Health Tech is to create a platform between those three worlds, the academy, uh, the industry, and then the practice of the medical uh, uh, area and create uh, a direct channel between those three worlds. Um, and in my opinion, uh, one can create this direct platform only by um, uh, mastering all of those skills, which is the medical field, uh, the mathematical uh, skills, and then the entrepreneurial thing, skill. Merde. <laughs> Un petit coupure au montage. The ambition of Human Health Tech is to be a platform between these three worlds, uh, which today only communicate through indirect channels. Uh, and in my sense, in my opinion, this communication can only be allowed uh, by people with the triple competence, uh, medical uh, doctors, mathematicians and entrepreneurs. Um, developing these uh, three skills is one of the most difficult thing one can achieve. And we are fortunate that in France, we have structures to support us in this ambition, uh, notably with the national student entrepreneur status. Um, 
These stages allows us to benefit from the help of reference with the host institution um, to attend to conferences, lectures, and to be put in contact with um, a partner of a network uh, within the local uh, cluster, which is called the PIT. Um, we have monthly uh, meetings. Uh, we had we um, we have monthly EPIT meetings here at Ecole Polytechnique um, with the um, entrepreneurial reference, and it's it's really important because it can help us um, take a step back uh, and see the bigger picture on our project and our and our, and our strategy and to discuss it with someone who is not an expert in this field and um, the great opportunity with Ecole Polytechnique is the tremendous uh, network that is behind it and when you need to discuss with someone who had an issue like yours you always find someone who's going to be responsive and um, it's, it's great because we can find very good interlocutors and they are always uh, delighted to exchange with us, both for mentoring and also for um, possible partnership 